Well, I am a happy man. I've been on an afternoon walk with the intention of getting uh, my eyes on some ibooks. Spotted one sort of ram about a kilometre away down the slope. Decided to keep coming up. Climbed up to, I don't know, I'm probably two and a half thousand metres now. I'm got quite high because right at the top there is 4,000 metres. So, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not at the top, but I'm certainly nowhere near the bottom. And came up into this whole new face that opened up. And as I was talking to the camera, I spotted something moving on a scree, and it turned out to be another ram. Well, I couldn't help it, but I've cut off the track and I'm following like a series of small benches that are help contouring, contouring through all this conifer forest. And I'm kind of hoping that it's going to bring me out to a bit of a lookout point. This country is so beautiful. Almost conifer forest. I've got a bit of a crosswind at the moment, so it's still the thermals are still working up the slope from my right to my left. And I'm hoping that when I get to a position of glassing, I'll be above anything below me. I'm certain I just heard a gunshot then from down to my right. I wonder if I should have a bit of blaze orange on. Oh wow, look at that. Can you see that? Oh, look at that in the background. I'm probably at about nearly 2,000 metres. That's just absolutely spectacular. Well, it's just gone on four o'clock, so it's a pretty good time to be up high glassing. The wind will shift soon, which is okay because I actually am at about their level and I can either drop below them if I need to, or if the wind's still climbing up, I can climb a bit higher. Um, but I suspect I'm actually going to be seeing them on the opposite side of the face. Not to say that they aren't on the same face. I just, uh, as I was sneaking through these game trails, I just got the feeling that there might be a, a bit of a broken patch where it opens up and where it opened up. I was hoping to do a bit of glassing. And this is probably about a 70 metre by, 70 metres long by 10 metre wide strip. That's quite open. And it just offered me the perfect opportunity to glass opposite face. 
which is always something I try to do where you're from the my country I'll purposefully um, give up good country uh, to get on the opposite face and glass onto good country I'll purposefully climb into crap stuff to be able to glass into good stuff and I'll save the good stuff until I spot something and then work out what I want to do in this case I'm not going to pursue that um, that ram, I'm not going to go over there I don't uh, I don't want to leave this side of the valley which I think is going to open up more opportunities further up right, I've just poked through this bit of bush here and it's opened right up to another face up into this stuff here which uh, I've just glassed, I haven't spotted anything but I really want to climb up this little draw here this little gut to the top where I'll have a really good glassing point into this basin that I can't quite see because of these trees this little spur of trees is in my way I just find this so exciting I really do I've just pushed up I'm using this uh, tree line right behind me here as a little bit of shaded cover and I'm just making my way straight up getting pretty close to where there's a big huge bluff system just up there and I want to get to the bottom of it so I can glass against the toe of that bluff and just hope that something's at the top of it I'm in amongst their um, fresh sign here this is actually where they are so they were higher than where I was anyway, I'm going to keep moving up right, I need to climb over to there while this fog is allowing me to So I've moved a little bit closer, but I've got like a drop down before I've got to climb up to them if I'm going to go over there, which I'm not planning on doing. We're 270 metres away. You can just see them <laughs> moving between that bluff and that bluff through this band off this way.
<laughs> wow, that's from up there. It took, me, it took me a little bit to get my eye in this morning on what it was I was looking for and once I spotted that gingery coat and actually quite a dark underbelly then that was all I needed to know what to look for this sort of terrain they were in it's quite broken rock so once I kept looking into that broken rock then I was relatively good oh, just you just got to get your eye on with anything yeah. same with shooting a rifle shooting a bow you just need to get your eye in and once your eyes in you know what to expect you know what to look for oh, you're sort of tuned in That is just absolutely fantastic. Oh, I'm put my camera away and thanks for joining in. I don't say it enough, but thank you to all you subscribers, followers, people that comment and leave nice messages, ask questions, disagree, offer tips. I welcome it all. That's a community the YouTube platform where people share their content for those who are interested to watch and that's how I see it it's just an extension of our hunting community in a way so once again thank you very much for tuning in I don't like to advertise verbally but if you like these sort of videos please subscribe and you'll see more of it cheers from Switzerland goodbye